the different structures that we have been talking about all come from, in the beginning, the same stuff. And the, this, this column of stuff, this tube of stuff that's contained by the orange stuff, the epithelial cap. So our bones don't grow in the sense that what does not happen is that we grow a bone and we grow another bone and then they get knit together somehow. It's more that there's this wholeness there's something that's all one thing and some of it becomes bone, some of it becomes hyaline cartilage, some of it becomes the ligaments of the joint, the discs, the um, menisci or labrum or synovial fluid or synovial membrane and the blood vessels. Didn't say it before, but the blood vessels are being created at the same time from the same material. So as much as we spend time distinguishing between this being a ligament, now it's bone, and da, 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 this is fibrocartilage, it's not ligament, it's, they all came from the same place. They all came from the same original soup of mesenchyme in the limb. So for those of us who, um, who have an experience of big gaps where our joints are, this can help I found in my own body and other people who deal with lots of mobility in their joints that this can help bridge some of those gaps, just knowing that it didn't start as space between things, that the space between them is actually one of the later things to develop. On the other hand, if people feel really rigid in their joints or like there's a lot of holding there or a lot of hardness, it may be useful to remember back to a time when it was all fluid and the relationship between the things was not so fixed. Now when we're talking about embryology, we're talking about these cells, we are talking about um, stem cells and this, this um, the current enthusiasm for stem cells are, they are em embryological cells that have perpetuated, that have continued in our body and continue to have the ability to uh, hold the potential for differentiating. So a bone stem cell or a blood vessel stem cell would be, could be in this case some of this mesenchyme, a cell from the mesenchyme that didn't get made into anything, it didn't choose, it didn't discriminate but still holds the potential. And they're finding, I've been reading stuff recently about stem cells for blood because, um, I mean, that's what's in the marrow are the, are the cells that can make blood, but they're finding more and more in the marrow cells that have the potential to become any of these structures so that they're stem cells. They can become blood-making cells but they can become other cells as well. So it's just, I think it's, a, it's amazing um, that we still carry, it, the, some of this is an idea and like how nice it is to remember that at one point I was all fluid and like that helps me change my experience. But it's really explicitly still happening in our bodies too. And as, as the scientific community is getting more skilled at measuring things, they're picking up more and more of these details about how we're not as fixed as we were and that things can, some things can revert and then some things are just traveling around in our body waiting to be called on to differentiate with the potential to become lots of different things. Isn't that cool?